Paul Munga is here now with the American Society for Investigative Pathology. Thank you for joining me. Absolutely. Let's talk about the dual role of the society, not just investigative, and that is so important, but also a real focus on career development. Yes, that's a very good question. We have uh, at ASIP taken it upon ourselves to make sure that uh, we take care of people at all different levels. Uh, we have uh, folks who are uh, undergraduates, graduate students, um, and uh, uh, postdoctoral fellows after you finish your, your PhD. And then we try to cater to their needs in the society uh, through different special sessions. But more importantly, these trainees a lot of the times need uh, some sort of professional development. And, and we are able to provide some this through special sessions. Just for example, uh, we had uh, sessions on, on uh, mentoring. We had sessions on uh, uh, lunch and learn. We have all these nice names where uh, you, can, you can spend quality time with a professor, try to learn about uh, careers of choice. Uh, we also have um, uh, other identified other areas based on input from the trainees because that's very critical. You know, we at the uh, as professors or uh, as, as associate professors think very differently uh, but these students who are coming uh, are, are from new generation are, are uh, they have different requirements they feel that uh, sometimes they feel lost because there are so many opportunities for them so they need to kind of understand what kind of uh, uh, different types of tracks exist and, and they need to know that a PhD can work all the way from uh, being a high school teacher to a uh, to um, careers in industry to careers uh, as journalists so so it's very important for us to um, expose them and to try to provide them what kind of uh, 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 courses, et cetera, they need to be taken. So one way we try to deal with that is by having such sessions where people who have done those sorts of activities and are from those professions, they come and talk to the students and trainees. And that's been a big hit. Uh, and um, ASIP is really taking the lead in that uh, and providing those sorts of, we, this year we also did something called elevator pitch. And that's, you have to paraphrase your science in less than two minutes <laughs> and that's not trivial you know for us scientists you know we love to talk we love to talk we can talk for 30 minutes we can talk for an hour you know but if you are uh, trying to get your message across to the people who want to invest for example in your product in your science they don't have time uh, you know so you will have only two minutes to kind of get the message the core message of your science in, in, in uh, uh, layman's terms, if you will, which will sell your product. So we take real pride at ASIP in doing the activities based on the feedback that we get from, uh, from our trainees and we make sure that we have sessions throughout uh, the different days that we are meeting at EB. And how important is it to all be here together in order to do that? Because I know you come to meetings like this and then you have other meetings outside. That is correct. Yeah, so I think at, at EB, uh, the most important thing is uh, that since the professional development courses are not just run by ASIP, so we can team up with other societies like a APS, like ASBMB, uh, and, and ASPET, and all of them are involved in that. Uh, so what we can do is, if we know that there is a course or a professional development workshop that is being run by other societies, then coming to a larger society, this is the advantage that not only can the students get the best of what we have to offer, but we also advertise what is being done at other societies so the students can run from one place to the other to kind of get what they need. Yeah, It's yeah, so yeah, important. Yeah, well, yeah, thank you so much Absolutely. for being here. Absolutely.